November 1, 2025, Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and welcome to 121 Point Mike Ground School. In this video, I want to show you some nerdy aviation things and get you some practice on the radio at the same time. I love to have ADS-B exchange up on my second monitor if I'm not using it. That way I can monitor the airspace for interesting things. Another website I like is liveatc.net. Here you can search for an airport and pick up all the frequencies that are associated with it. Now, when you match this up with ADS-B, it's really cool. There is a slight delay, of course, on the live ATC feed, but it's only a couple of seconds. So, we're going to go down to DFW, where we're going to listen to some ground control and watch the planes move on ADS-B. And then I'm going to explain what's said so that it makes a little bit more sense. American 1595, DFW, what's your ramp entry? American 1595, Roger Tech, Kilo Zulu. Alright, Kilo Zulu. So American 1595 up here was told to taxi via Kilo and Zulu. So they're going to follow this red line here. They're going to go down Kilo. They're going to make a right turn then on Zulu and enter the ramp area for their gate. Spirit Wings 273, DFW ramp station, Mike 35 Center, straight out. Juliet Alpha, Juliet Sierra, Echo Romeo, cross from 35 left. 35 Center, Juliet Alpha, Juliet Sierra, Echo Romeo, cross 35 left. Spirit Wings 273. So their call sign is Fairwinds 273, and they were issued instructions to taxi to um, 35 Center. They're going to cross 35 left, and all those other letters they said were the route that they're going to take on each taxiway. At American 1715, spot 32, ready to American 1715, DFW Ground, runway 35 Center, taxi via Kilo and Echo Quebec, cross runway 35 left. That's Mission Mike on the east. All right, uh, Kilo, Echo, Quebec, cross 35 left, uh, and now uh, we get the weather for American 1715. So here's American 1715. They're going to taxi down Kilo. They're going to go all the way down to the south end, and they're going to go across 35 left on taxiway Echo, Quebec. They also acknowledged that they had the ATIS information mic. United 2639, you'll set with permission, Mike. And the controller is just asking United here if they still have the current ATIS information mic. United 2639, uh, stop for forward mic. United 2639, follow American from the left, 35 center, cross from 35 left, field taxi, Kilo West, Quebec. United 2639, follow American, cross 35, 435 center, cross 35 left, echo Quebec, United 2639. So you can see there they got a little bit confused as to their instructions, but they did read back all the key elements. They weren't in the order that they were originally given, but all the key elements were there. And they're simply going to follow American 1715 down Kilo and then make a left turn on Equal Quebec for runway 35 center. American 2575 on Kilo for spot 14. 2575, DFW, going to take Kilo to 14 or 15. We're going to 14. 14, thanks. All right, Kilo to 14, American 2575. And so here's American 2575. They're off on Kilo up here in the north, and they're going to slot 14 right there. And let's leave Dallas now and head over to LAX. Ground Air Force 2, slot 409 with Bravo. Request number start. I'm sorry, for the interstate, who is it? That's Air Force 2. Air Force, Air Force 2, LA ground, and to start pilot discretion. And to start pilot discretion, Air Force 2. So Air Force 2 called up and asked permission to start their engines. They're over at slot 49 at the remote gates. And the controller responded, yeah, you can start whenever you want to. Doesn't matter to me when you start your engines. Ground Skywest 3682, 21 Bravo, ready for push. Skywest 3682, LA ground, pull the gate, expect probably 15 minutes for VFP movement. We'll hold here at the gate, Skywest 3682. So this Skywest is sitting over at gate 21 Bravo. They were asking permission to taxi. The uh, controller said, nope, we've got some VIP movement, and so you're going to hold there at the gate for about 15 minutes. You can see it's pretty much plain English, even though it isn't. Ground Delta 20, uh, yeah, Delta 10 Alley, taxi with Bravo. Delta 1020 to LA ground, runway 24 left, turn right on Delta, hold short of Delta 9, expect roughly 15 minutes. 
Two four left. Delta short of Delta nine. Twenty eight. So Delta 1028's here. They said they're going to taxi the uh, Delta. They're going to hold short, though, of Delta 9 because of the uh, VIP movement once again uh, for about 15 minutes. Ground, hello. Cast 4025, 8 is Bravo, gate 23, Bravo, ready to push. Cast 4025, other ground, hold on the gate, probably 15 minutes for VIP movement. All right, we'll hold. So Sky West said where they were, what they wanted to do, and the controller responded, nope, you're also going to hold at the gate. How much longer are we all going to be sitting? 10 minutes. You can see there's not a lot of movement on the ground because they're holding them all for Air Force Two. Poor SkyWest 4123 has been sitting here for a while and simply can't get to his gate. I'm sure the passengers are not terribly happy about this. Ground to Air Force Two, spot 409 with Bravo, ready to taxi, 24 left. Air Force Two, Los Angeles, ground, taxi as brief. And ground for Air Force Two, request uh, full taxi instructions. Air Force Two, order 24 left, taxi, Echo, Alpha Alpha, Delta, Papa Echo. And that's Echo, Alpha Alpha, Delta, Papa Echo for Air Force Two. For uh, one five one. American thirteen ninety three turn right on Bravo and ground will be point seven five. Okay. Okay, Air Force Two, they don't want to do that, so just uh hold hold short of runway two four left at Charlie Charlie. Air Force Two will hold short of runway two four left at Charlie Charlie. Air Force Two go to tower now, one three three point under. One three three nine for Air Force Two. Okay, so you can see Air Force Two popped up over here. They told you where they were. Their first taxi instruction they were given kind of took them a roundabout way closer to all the other traffic. Ultimately, they said they didn't want to do that. Uh, so what they're going to do is they're going to back taxi on runway 24 left. That's why they just got told to hold short of uh, 24 left there on Charlie Charlie. So they're just going to go to right here, stop, and then they are going to ultimately back taxi down the runway uh, I, I guess, you know, it's safer, of course, because you don't have, uh, <clears throat> you're not around anybody else. Uh, but then they're going to back taxi down the runway and then take off to the west. Of course, two clear to destination will be the Lady J Fort Departure, Castro Transition, direct to New Ray Intersection, Venice Files. Climb to the city to maintain 5,000, squawk 2072. Air Force 2 is cleared by the Lady J4 Castro Transition, climb via the Pacific, except maintain 5,000, block 2072. And uh, Air Force 2, verify after the Castro Transition, you copy the new ray intersection, that's November Uniform, Romeo, Alpha Yankee. And that's the new ray intersection, November Uniform, Romeo, Alpha Yankee for Air Force 2. Thank you. So now that was a departure clearance. That's something we'll get to when we get to the instruments part of this whole series, uh, but that's what just happened. You can see Air Force Two is back taxiing down the runway there. When they get to the end, they'll turn around on the runway and then take off to the west. Our Air Force Two, would you like a 180 on the runway? Our Air Force Two at your discretion. Our Air Force Two will be 180 on the runway after that. Air Force Two after that. And that's what they just said. They're going to uh, do a 180 at the end of the runway. Air Force 2 and 2406, Tarnav Del Rey, runway 24 left, present position, clear for takeoff. Air Force 2, clear for takeoff, runway 24 left. And they got the magic words, cleared for takeoff. If you hear anything else, you are not cleared for takeoff. And so here they go. Air Force 2, contact departure on 125.2. 125.2, Air Force 2. And so they just received the frequency handoff to contact departure control. 
because Tower only is in the immediate vicinity of the airport. Now they're going to talk to Departure on 125.2. But that's, again, something that we'll cover more when we get to the instrument part of this series. If you haven't already, go watch the ground radio portion of my airport operations series. This video expands on that, and I think that it's really cool to watch and listen when you're not able to fly. I hope that this was somewhat helpful, if not somewhat entertaining. And I think it's really neat that we were able to pick up that last aircraft at LAX the day I did this. Not all aircraft, of course, will appear on ADS-B. Uh, fighter planes, for one, aren't required to have ADS-B turned on, which makes sense, right, for security reasons. It's amazing, though, which aircraft might actually show up. Some that you think shouldn't actually do. And it's really neat to be able to track those when you're as big of an aviation junkie as I am. In addition to the ADS-B exchange and live ATC, I love to use Skyvector. With these three websites, I'm pretty well able to satisfy my aviation craving for at least, uh, you know, until I get to fly next. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll certainly help me out as well leaving a comment down below and engaging in lively discussion. And stay with me on 121 Point Mike.